sectors of Indian economy. Class 10, session 2. Can you see and hear me? If not, please refresh your page. So, first of all, the recap. Economic activities. There are three types of activities. Tertiary, secondary and primary. Sorry, I told was from the first. Primary activity which is also known as agricultural activity. Secondary activity which includes manufacturing and all. Tertiary activity means the producing of services and all. Okay. Yeah. Summary. When we produce a good by exploiting the natural resources, it is an activity of primary sector. The secondary sector covers activities in which natural products are changed into the other forms through the ways of manufacturing that we associate with industrial uh, activity. It is the next step after the primary activity. Transport Storage, communication, banking and all are some other examples of tertiary activities. It is also known as service sector. GDP is the value of all goods and services produced within a country during a particular year. Ek saal mein goods or services jitne bhi produce huye hamari country mein usko o value ko bolte hai GDP. It shows how big the economy is. Underemployment. The underemployment is hidden in contrast to someone who does not have a job and is clearly visible as unemployed. And hence it is also called disguised unemployment. Okay. Now table of contents. How to create more employment. Division of sectors. On a, as organized and organized in sectors in terms of ownership. The first one. How to create more employment. We can grant loans at lower interest rates so that the person standing before us can have time to pay. And investing in construction of dam to create more employment opportunities. If the construction of dam continues, then it would need more and more workers. And so the construction of dam leads to more employment opportunities. Right? Hmm. <coughs> Increasing efficiency of transportation and storage promoting agro-based industries in semi-rural areas which means the farmers will be increased right farmers and workers will be increased so how to create more employment once again emphasize on education and training planning commission estimated that 20, nearly 20 lakhs jobs can be created in the education sector alone how much? 20 leg jobs. Improving a state's health system, tourism, craft industry, etc. Improving economic conditions also. Government welfare schemes like wells, pump near farms, dams, building hospitals, electricity and all. True or false? According to Planning Commission, nearly 20 lakh jobs can be created in educator sector alone. Is it true or false? As for me, it's true. True. So let's check my answer. Right, I know it's right. I told the answer only so so it's correct right it's the true option 
मग्न रेगा एम जी एन आर ई जी ए टू थाउजेंड फाइव वॉट डज इट इम्प्लाय एनी वन नोज लेट मी लेट यू नो करेक्ट देखो रेकोगनाइजिंग द नीड ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म क्विक मेजर्स राइट टू वर्क महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गारंटी एक्ट 2000 नहीं है इधर इधर आता है 2005 क्या आता है 2005 ओके इट इम्प्लाई इट इम्प्लीमेंटेड दैट 625 रिस्ट्रिक्स इन इंडिया राइट टू वर्क इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन 625 डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन इंडिया 100 डेज ऑफ गारंटीड एम्प्लॉयमेंट If government fails to provide employment, unemployment allowance even to those pers- those people. Okay, quiz time, but you get ready now. How can employment in a state be increased? Option A by improving its health system, by improving its tourism. Option C by improving its ca- regional calf industry. And option D. All of the above. Let me repeat it. Repeat the question. How can employment in a state be increased? Option A by improving its health system. Option B by improving its tourism. Option C by improving its regional craft industry. Option D. All of the above. I hope now you got the answer. So let's take it. What do you think the answer would be? A, B, or C, D? Anyone? No one knows. Don't say like that. I taught you earlier. I know that you everyone know. So the correct answer is all of the above. Right? Let's check. the next question done well. when was magna rega brought into effect a 2005 option b 2006 option c 2000 and option d 2010 Remember when was it implemented? Six. When did the right to work implemented in six twenty five districts of India? Who gave this right? Mahatma Gandhi. So Magna Rega in which year brought into effect? Try to recall. Countdown begins. Ten, nine, eight. Seven. When was the Magna Rega brought into effect? Tell the answer, go. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ending the poll. Check the results. So the answer is two thousand five. Magna Rega. brought into effect in year 2005 right yeah ye how many days of employment is guaranteed in the magna rega act try to recall that it was simple 2005 mein magna rega aaya mahatma gandhi ne introduce kiya tha बहुत अरे मतलब 625 ट्वेंटी फाइव डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ इंडिया में राइट टू वर्क मिला कितने दिन के लिए अनएम्प्लॉयड मानसों को काम मिलता है ट्राई टू रिकॉल ऑप्शन ए वन फिफ्टी डेज ऑप्शन बी वन ट्वेंटी डेज ऑप्शन सी हंड्रेड डेज ऑप्शन डी फिफ्टी डेज फास्ट आंसर द क्वेश्चन फास्ट
आई होप नाउ एवरी वन इज क्लियर राइट सो चलो लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नहीं है ओके हंड्रेड डेज है हमारा आंसर ओके नॉट क्लियर वेट आई लेट यू नो एज आई टोल्ड हंड्रेड डेज हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ गारंटी टू थाउजेंड फाइव ओके रिमेम्बर सेकेंड डिविजन ऑफ सेक्टर एस ऑर्गेनाइज एंड अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर लेट्स डिस्कस स्टेट एन वन मेजर टू क्रिएट मोर एम्प्लॉयमेंट एनी वन I'll give you one example. Don't worry. Then you can say. More education, sustainable development, etc., etc. Let's see now. Registered by government, organized sectors, job security, fixed working hours. Organized में fixed working hours होते हैं job की security होती है rules और regulation होते हैं paid overtime. Overtime के लिए pay कर किया जाता है okay gratuity और सब होता है उनके लिए देखो अब अनऑर्गेनाइज में रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन नॉट फॉलोड करेक्ट नो जॉब सिक्योरिटी नो फिक्स वर्किंग आवर्स जॉब्स आर लो पेड एंड नो प्रोविजन फॉर ओवर टाइम एंड प्रोविडेंट फंड स्मॉल एंड सेक्टर यूनिट्स ये बेचारा अपनी छान दे देगा पर उसे पैसे नहीं मिलेंगे ऐसा बोला जाता है इधर एक्स्ट्रा काम करो या ना करो और कराते तो है ही नो ऑप्शन इनके पास ऐसा है बेचारा इतना स्माइलिंग फेस वाला ऐसे हो जाता है अच्छे से हंसने वाला बन जाता है राइट चलो I hope everyone is clear. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I showed you the answer. Now quiz time. Everyone ready? Correct. Chalo, which color? Organized sector ki characteristic in dono mein se kya hai? Fixed working hours or rules and non or rules and regulation not followed. Kya hai iska answer? जल्दी ये तो बहुत इजी है जल्दी 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 आंसर आ गया आंसर आ गया आ गया आंसर ओके चलो लेट्स चेक योर आंसर द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए फिक्स्ड वर्किंग आवर्स हाउ टू प्रोटेक्ट वर्कर्स इन ऑर्गेनाइज से अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर्स अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर वेट वन सेकेंड आई एम तो ऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर ऑफर जॉब्स दैट आर मोस्ट शॉर्ट ऑफ द बट इट्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैव बीन एक्सपांडिंग वेरी स्लोली ऑल्सो एडोप्ट स्ट्रेटेजीज विच कैन मेक दैम फॉल अंडर अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर एक्सप्लोटेशन ऑफ वर्क फोर्स बोथ इन रूरल एंड अर्बन एरियाज दस protection and support to urban sector workers is necessary for both economic and social development vulnerable sections in unorganized sector first is rural rural and the second is urban in rural it includes landless or agricultural laborers and small marginal farmers in urban areas casual workers in construction street vendors etc okay 
problems faced by workers in unorganized sector. Pro- majority of workers in unorganized sector are from SC, ST, and backward classes. Means they, they are poor, they face poverty. Besides low wages, job security, they also face social discrimination. Protection is therefore necessary for social and economic development. Now it's the quiz time. I hope everyone is clear on the above topic. Point. Which of the following examples does not fall under unorganized sector? A farmer irrigating, irrigating his field, a daily wage laborer, for a contractor, a doctor in a hospital treating a patient, all of the above. As per you, what is the answer? You are saying me option C. So I marked it. Let's say. Dekho. Ye right hai. Ye right hai. Ye wrong hai. Ye right hai. There. Okay. Ho ga answer. Choose the correct meaning of organized sector. A se- option A. A sector that covers enterprises with where terms of employment are regular. Where jobs are not regular. Option B. Where this outside the government control low salaries no only option a is correct let's check it yeah i was right which among the following is the most vulnerable in the unorganized sector option a landless agricultural laborers small option b small and marginal farmers option c both a and b and none of the above are you ready everyone i hope everyone is ready with the answer now okay let's check the answer the answer is both a and b landless agricultural laborers and small and marginal farmers third question sectors in terms of ownership let's learn first public the government owns most of the assets and provide all services Pro- ownership of assets and delivery of all services is ahead of private individuals and companies like reliance a private sector ka purpose to earn profits right only in limited sectors collects money for the services they provide tata steel and reliance are few examples public sector not just to earn profits provides services to all sectors correct raise money for activities रेलवेज पोस्ट ऑफिस ये पब्लिक सेक्टर नहीं है हाँ पब्लिक और वो वाला था प्राइवेट ओके इंटरेक्टिव पॉइंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेक्टर कंपनीज मेन मोटिव इज टू अर्न प्रॉफिट पब्लिक सेक्टर और प्राइवेट सेक्टर कंपनी यू आंसर माई क्वेश्चन सून आई एम कमिंग बैक यू गेट फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स डू थिंक फॉर योर आंसर एंड ऑल्सो विथ एन एग्जाम्पल
is everyone ready yeah so let's check the answer as for me private sector company is answer but let's check it for your reference yeah the answer is private sector company aspects of development which government needs to pay attention to quiz time in which sector government owns most of the assets private public both a and b and none of the above as for me public let's say The sectors are classified in the basis of ownership of enterprises. Which of the following statements is true in respect of public sector? Option A: An individual owns most of the assets in public sector. Growth government. Option B: Government owns. most of the assets in public sector option b is correct as for me let's check it let's summarize under magnarega 2005 all those who are able to and are in need of work are guaranteed 100 days of employment in a year by government the organized sector covers those enterprises or places of work where the terms of employment are associated with the shared work the unorganized sector is characterized by small and scattered units which are largely under the outside the control of government in public sector government owns most of the assets In private sector, ownership of assets and delivery of assets are private individuals' hand. Doubt time. Ask your doubt to the class teachers. It's time for link the board. Which teacher do you like the most? We introduce the guess as promise. Practice makes man perfect. We want you to be the best. Practice the assess- assignments and assessments. Bring out to bring out the best in you and improvement in you. Yourself will notice it soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Bye, bye, everyone.